on the basically obtaining a transmission line parameter for 345 kV transmission line HVAC and modeling in NPS CAD and you can say we will in PSSC as well as in PS CAD. So basically in this lecture so we will calculate the parameters of transmission line that we will use for the power flow studies, short circuit studies and dynamic studies uh, based on the uh, different conductor information. So uh, I have divided this lecture into two part basically so one part is a calculation of transmission line parameter using a line property tool that is available in PSSE add-on module and similarly the another module that is available for the calculation of transmission line parameter is TMLC so TMLC transmission line calculator which is also known as transmission line calculator so these uh, through these we can perform the basically analyze the parameter of transmission line and similarly next we will do uh, transmission line parameters calculation in PS CAD so depending upon the uh, different parameters data associated with the parameters uh, like conductor information so we can calculate the transmission line parameters so before going to start so let's have a quick view on the uh, conductor uh, tower information so as we can see that there is one transmission tower and in parallel with one distribution tower. So right now we will discuss only a transmission tower like 345 kV above. And so here you can see a tower structure that is basically lied on a horizontal section like it's say zero feet. So I mean you can say just a ground clearance like where the boundaries are foundation are started is at zero feet and then right after you can see that after structure there are three conductors so like phase a phase b and phase c so basically there are three phases phase a phase b phase c and each have two conductor so it means that but that there is bundle conductor is used so and so two bundle conductors uh, per phase you can say and there are two shield wires like we can say the ground wires that is one wire is here and then one wire is here so in this way we can see that this is a tower information like uh, we there are there is a only single circuit which consists of three conductor like three phases and six conductor like two per phase so the information regarding this what is the sag of this uh, mean the parameter data required to basically calculate the transmission and parameter so one is that uh, conductor information either it is a drake or or chocor or whatever the greeley so based on the type of conductor that uh, we can uh, give it its name that will be available in the conductor library in this calculator so first parameter that we should know about that is uh, basically you can say relative position of 345 kv circuit with within the corridor is zero feet and then again the circuit has three position the phase a on left side then phase b is the middle and the phase right c is the right hand side so from here we can see that uh, the vertical position of this tower is 15 feet uh, up to this and then for the shield wires so i mean up to conductor clamps there are 15 feet but up to shield clamps there are 12 feet above so around uh, overall that becomes 62 feet so here the lateral locations of three position like 20 from the origin like from the middle circuit 27 feet is on the left hand side that should be taken on negative and similarly 27 feet taken on the right hand side that should be taken as a positive and similarly for the shield wire the distance on the right hand side is 10 feet and distance on the left hand side is minus 10 feet and the sag of this conductor from the clamp is basically 15 feet and the bundle separation between the conductor is 18 inch and then again the sag of the uh, shield wire is 9, 9 feet so keeping in view of this data, data we can uh, uh, perform the analysis in our uh, you can say uh, line property calculator or transmission line calculator or in PSCAD we can get the uh, uh, RXB and like in in a positive sequence parameters as well as the negative sequence parameters 
so starting from this uh, like this type of information is required and similarly in transmission line calculators like tmlc so if we if we see the different uh, inputs that are required for the uh, tmlc so here are the inputs again the earth resistivity and then like frequency up to what whether it is 60 years number of circuits number so same kind of information is required in, in this calculator also and similarly same kind of information is required in in this in ps cad also so so there are two ways to basically add input data in these three uh, softwares so that one way is to develop a input file and load that input file and then analysis will be performed like in line property calculator you can save your corridor and in transmission line calculator you can save your input file and in in, in the pscad you can save your data in the in term of pscad library so here so starting from the uh, like say line property calculators so let's start with that a portion yeah so line property calculator will be open so because this is the add-on module that is available in the installed directory of this software so you can see where the software is installed so that is available in that area okay once this will be loaded yes so here is a basically line property calculator so in order to this this is a basically simple corridor overview so where there is no circuit is available in order to add a new circuit in that in this area just click a new circuit here when you will click a new circuit you need to give a basically circuit name if it, it is circuit a then okay so based on this if this is a circuit a information is given like double click on this you will see a different uh, information regarding the circuit name then circuit location that is zero feet because some relative position if there is another circuit uh, with that uh, tower so we need to give the relative position and voltage level is 345 kb and then circuit from bus to two bus you can mention here and then circuit id that is uh, circuit number one or two or whatever it is so in order to add the uh, single circuit information with three conductor that are e bundled so we need to add a uh, positions so that is position means there are five things five like first circuit is a and then b phase then c phase and one ground wire another ground wire so this is how basically we select the circuit and position of the tower Okay, so in keeping in view of that, so we have seen from the information as in, in our tower structure, like here. So we can see that the horizontal, that is X, that X requirements from the lateral position from the left hand side will be taken as minus 27, and the middle will be 0 because relative position, and right will be 27. So right phase will be plus 27, and next. So next thing is that for ground wire, so like we see that the uh, that that will that is basically 10 10 feet on left and 10 feet on right. So minus 10 from the middle conductor and then it is 10. So these are the horizontal dis, uh, distances and that we have added. So next is the y that is basically you can say a uh, vertical in in uh, distance. So for the first conductor that was 50 feet. So because the up up to conductor to the clamps. So here we can see that this is 50 feet, and then the next is 12, 12 feet for the shield conductor. But sh shield wires, you can say ground wires. But here we will add a 50 for the all because it is a 50, and then again it's a 50. okay so this is also 50 and then for 62 for the shield wire because 12 feet above and then 62 feet 
and then sag of the first conductor so that was basically 15 feet okay and then because three conductor have same sag and then ground wire has same sag it will be nine so next as per conductor because these options are not available because these options are used for the bundle conductor if we select two then these option will be available mean we are using the two bundle two conductor per phase so there is no con bundle conductor in the shield wire so therefore this single so next we can add a separation between that those conductors so here we can see so this is basically separation between these two conductor that is 18 inch so we can add 18 inch so that information is given in inch then all these three characters are uh, 180 degree against so mean opposite to 180 degree okay and then these are conductors are drag so next important thing is that a very huge library is available here in in the pssc uh, you can say software so we have we select this name and we will click on do sort so all uh, conductor will be sorted just go in the d alphabet that will be drag so we can select that drag conductors so here yes so here is a direct conductor so yes this is acsr so it's dc resistance ohm per mile ac resistance it's reactance it's you can say xc and then it's al area and total area in inch then conductor dia outstanding that core so this this data we can use in this okay then click okay so all these these three connector has been selected now next for the uh, you can say so like forget about this uh, th uh, this model okay we can change this model so like we have it, uh, just do sort it and then we can select 37 yes this will be third yes here 37 9 ak so here we can select so here you can see that there are two ground wires and these are two conductor per faces so phase a phase b phase c so starting from the relative position from the ground so here we can save this corridor so just save as so that we can take this uh, make make use of this file for the next simulation per perspective so let's wait and then we can save this file save this corridor okay we can wait because software is not responding so yes now we got it so in in our yes here is a 345 kv corridor So mean the information that is added here so we have translated this information in the in the you can say the software so only thing is that you must aware of the nomenclature that is associated with the tower structure so because once you are uh, uh, mean know, know about the nomenclature of things so you will be able to load your uh, file so just save it and then we can see an analysis option like impedance Put on that impedance. Yes. Then wait for the software. So even it's not a, a huge file, but it's linking to the library that is given in the so uh, you can say software. So here you can see so information is are calculated like for circuit A the R1 X1 that is basically Z R0 and X0. So that is Z 
positive sequence and zero sequence impedance. So here you get at 60 hertz. And similarly, if we say the advantage is like charging, so we can see charging here. And then if we see the self impedance as well as the mutual that we can see here. And then we say ys and ym that in term of admittance that we can calculate here. So in order to save your result, just click on save results. So in the same, so you can say result underscore cs, sorry, underscore 345. Okay, and then go and check those parameters that are basically results. No, that was not result. That was our corridor. So in notepad, we can open that file. So here you can see that. So these are the informations and that are basically required for the conductor position. So phase A, phase B and phase C ground wiring distance that we have added. That is basically input data. So keeping in view that we have this, this and data is required. So that initially it was the input data and then positive and zero sequence impedance that is R1, X1, then R0, X0 and similarly admittance and similarly impedance and XM and then per unit length also. So this is how basically we can see the uh, parameters. Uh, of the, here is the impedance matrix and sequence matrices. So based on this information, we can put, add these information because we require this uh, like R1, X1, and then R0, X0, and then B1 and B0. So positive sequence re resistance, positive se sequence reactance, pos positive sequence charging, and similarly zero sequence resistance, zero sequence to in order to perform the short circuit analysis. So there these type of, uh, yeah, in order to uh, basically see the transposition, like in order to perform the transposition of conductor, or you can say, the another calculations related to the EMTP and our, our trans, uh, proximity analysis, we require this kind of information self and mutual so that we can calculate here. So these are the output that uh, to uh, basically calculate the transmission line parameter in the line property tool. So next thing is that the same kind of uh, analysis can be performed in the TMLC calculator also like this was in line pro property so save change no corridor so like we can calculate same thing in the in the line property calculator here is that if a so if we want to uh, find the uh, data uh, like our transmission line parameter from the file or for, from the data file so enter one for internal input that I want to give input myself. So I said one, then again enter, then enter number of circuits. So circuit was one and then number of shield wire was two and then number of conductors per bundle. So you can say conductors. So it was as two per bundle. So conductor name is here. So we need to give conductor name Drake and then enter conductor SAG. So that was around uh, how much? So that was 15 feet. Yes, conductor sag. And then bundle spacing between these two conductors was 18 inch. Okay. So now we need to give the data as per the requirement. So he said for phase A bundle conductor location, we need to give the vertical distance and then horizontal distance for phase A. So vertical distance is 50, then comma for A, it is on left side, so it should be 27 and then 50 comma zero because the middle conductor, then 50 comma 27. That's a, a basically you can say the another conductors. So click OK. So again, we need to put the uh, give, give the value of number of shield wire. So that is one and shield wire name it is 37 okay hash 9 aw then click enter shield wire sag so that sag was basically 9 feet okay and then we need to give the distance vertical as well as horizontal so vertical distance was 50 plus 12 that is 62 and then comma and then on a horizontal so that was uh, you can say 10 on left because it's for the minus 10 we can say and then for the number of type for the second wire it should be one and then shield wire name is same 37 
hash nine aw okay then interstate by sack that is nine feet and then vertical and horizontal distance so again 62 comma plus 10 it was a right right hand circuit uh, like sheet circuit so here is the output option so this is how basically you enter the input data so next thing is that full impedance matrix let's uh, look about the impedance matrix put on one and say this so here you can get the impedance matrix so if y says one again so again i i go back to the uh, and then i say z2 came back full symmetrical component matrix so here i can uh, see that symmetrical components re regarding the zero sequence i can put two so this is about the zero sequence parameters so starting from this so the outcome uh, about this uh, you can say the parameters i will explain uh, like if i say zero then i will came back if again uh, once enter on double click so next important data i required for the power flow data I mean what what data so for power flow because i required rxp just press 5 and then okay so its default is 100 mu do you want to change it no okay so for each circuit and kv length uh, enter the kv and length okay yes the you can say the uh, kv was 345 kv uh, and the length uh, you can say comma length is assumed 200 kilometer so this is how basically parameters are uh, rated here you also see that the sill is also calculated so the stability limits its rating was 1780 so keeping in view of stability limits so we can maximum load our conductor up to 580 mega uh, mva so 580 mv you can see base and with this so based on this we can perform so uh, coming back to two and then uh, sorry but we can go back and then we can generate our data accordingly so this is how basically perform the analysis using transmission line characteristic tmlc module that is available in the uh, pssc installed directory also in pss bin folder okay so come now moving towards the ps cad section like in ps cad how we can how we perform this kind of analysis in, in as a transmission line parameters so in order to perform the transmission line uh, uh, parameters here just click up and uh, you can say just open so mean this is a basic uh, you can say very basic topic just to understand the nomenclature of the different uh, associated with the tower and the conductor then you need to give the information to a new project open just you can say tmlc like transmission line calculation in order to calculate the transmission line parameter here in PSCAD, just right click uh, and then add a create and here you can say a line. So when you will create a line, you can give a line name. Okay, if it's T line one, just finish it and you can place it here. So it's a transmission line. So when you double click on that, so this type of canvas as well as it, this frequency dependent model option was available. You need to delete this one, this model and just right click and then select transmission model, then master library. You need to uh, check this second model version. So here, because the transmission line calculation, driving time interpolation is on, reflectionless line is, you can say the infinite length is no. So again, after that, we need to give the tower cross section area. So in order to go to master, so here we can see that, yeah, here master's library, sorry. Okay, so one by one, because we required three conductors, uh, you can say uh, per three conductors with flat tower and uh, also we are interested in the horizontal bus bar or vertical bus bar, but right now, so line constant three connector vertical tower whatever it is are flat towers so like it's a three connector vertical tower here so here this is kind of vertical tower so i mean in in this way but we are interested in the flat tower so just click on or add tower section because three connector flat tower yes so this was the case same that we have seen so from the conductor all these so here we can see that the already information is given so in order to add your own data or whether you can load this so double click on this tower structure here you can see that general information that conductor graphic of the conductor sag is if you say visible and then ideal transmission of this circuit just say 
enabled okay show conductance tower name and then relative x position of the tower that's the height of conductor so initially it was uh, uh, i say 50 and then horizontal spacing between the conductors so you can say that was 27 and then height of ground wires over the lowest conductor okay so you can say that was uh, you can uh, uh, yeah 10 and 10 spacing between the ground wires was also 10 so again this was information then conductor data so data entry methods you can select here you can give from the library and from the direct also so because we are using this uh, student version so we need to uh, give a direct data otherwise we can select the conductor library so next solid core okay and then conductor name we can give it direct okay and then outer radius that information is uh, right now i'm not changing because we we will require this type kind of information so i mean you can see, see that the detail level of detail regarding the conductor data is required much more about uh, in in you can say in in this ps cat then ground wire data just number two ground wires and then high st steel strength dc resistance sag is already i have added to not, uh, just 10 meter so it was around 10 feet so i think we should change this up all ground wires to nine feet uh, so yeah here is f okay and then again coming back to this here sag of all conductors so of all conductor it was 15 feet so yeah here so total bundle conductor per con uh, phase were two okay that's symmetrical if i say uh, subconductor spacing so that is 18 inch so we can convert into uh, basically uh, meters so uh, that will be around if we say that is yeah that was inch to meter so around it was 18 inch yes so 0 0.5 so 4 5 7 2 again the same data is added for, for, that is that becomes 0 0.4572 is inch so if we say symmetrical that's okay otherwise on during unsymmetrical so asymmetrical bundling position we need to mention their position also okay phase for these are three conductor and two then then press okay so here you can see that this is uh, this information look like this way so nine feet for the ground wire 15 feet for the conductors so uh, next thing is that just right click and but in anywhere in the space what space just click on the solve constant so when you will click on the solve constant you can see the your output data okay so here in the input uh, so we can see that uh, all these things uh, constants then output here yeah again coming back to the this uh, yeah here in the just go to yeah in the detail log section so basically the issue was the uh, sag error in reading data file because the da uh, drake uh, information is was not available so again i think if if we select uh, starting from uh, from the scratch if i say just give me a second in the schematic so if, if we not add this uh, conductor so just go to add tower cross section and then master library three conductor flat tower here so for example we are using this data because we are mismatching the data from the all perspective so connector data is here so we can add this these two bundle here and then click ok and then click solve constant ok then here we can see same uh, for, uh, outputs are displayed on the same so I mean for in order to calculate your parameters in in pssc line property tool and pssc transmission line calculator and pscad uh, so uh, whether you have information so this kind of information is required like configuration data and then conductor data and then ground wire data and then if there is a asymmetrical position then also that is no type of data so this type of data is available and then this case I means you can make use of this uh, line uh, these parameters so once you have parameter calculated then you can put rxb uh, and zero sequence rxb on in any transmission line 
so basically this is how you calculate the transmission line parameters so methodology is the same we get information from the conductor and we can get a put info input data as per the software format and we can get information in term of line transmission calculation like r not x not and b not and then similarly r and x and b so positive sequence impedance as well as the negative sequence impedance that we will use for the load flow analysis and the short circuit analysis